A patient is suspected of having a pharyngeal pouch, which is the most common investigation. So first of all, we have to know about the pharyngeal pouch. That means it is a pouch. Pouch means there is a blind loop present in the pharynx. So what is pharynx? We know the pharynx. It is the food canal which presents just below the oral cavity so oral cavity then pharynx then esophagus then food uh, comes to the stomach so in case of the esophagus what happened there is a pause present there is a pause present and how we can diagnose this in case of suspected case here are the options options are the upper GIT endoscopy with flexible endoscope upper GIT endoscope with a reduced uh, rigid endoscope upper GIT fluoroscopic swallowing study and esophageal manometry and also the CT scan of the neck so what is the more convenient or easy for diagnosis of a pharyngeal pulse here we can see this area this is the pharynx after the oral cavity there is pharynx started and from there at the level of the cricoid cartilage there is the esophagus started so esophagus started and above the esophagus there is this is the pharynx and where uh, here we can see there is the outpousing of the pharynx so here is an outpousing and this outpousing is the pharynx so in case of this outpousing it is known as the pharyngeal pouse or it is the jenkers diverticulum so in case of the pharyngeal pouse or jenkers diverticulum what investigation we should do first of all let's see this is the investigation the motility disorders may be best appreciated by the fluoroscopic swallowing study so the fluoroscopic swallowing study it is the most convenient it is the uh, most accurately uh, used for the diagnosis of the pharyngeal pouse and full blood count also should be performed between this investigation ambulatory esophageal PAEs and manometry studies are required to evaluate the condition of the achalasia and also patient with this jarred so in case of achalasia cardia and the gastroesophageal reflux disease there is the ambulatory esophageal PAEs and manometry may be used in case of the GORD, that means gastroesophageal reflux disease, there is acid in the uh, esophagus. In this condition, ambulatory esophageal PAS monitor is enough. And in case of the achalasia, where there is the pressure problem or more motility disorder, so in this condition, there is the manometry is used. An upper GIT endoscopy it is contraindicated in the pharyngeal pouch why it is contradicted because it, there is a pharyngeal pouch and if there is endoscope given then what happen it may injure this pharyngeal pouch and may causes perforation also there is giving some air so as it increases pressure within it it is very chance of uh, develop the perforation and we know the esophageal or pharyngeal perforation they are very dangerous so again this is showing a diverticulum this is the oral cavity and after the oral cavity which is the pharynx which is the nasopharynx oropharynx and laryngopharynx and then esophagia esophagus started and here we can see the pharyngeal the majority arises above the cricopharyngeus muscle such as it is the posterior pharyngeal pulsation of pulsion of the diverticulum which is janker diverticulum which is the most common and esophageal uh, the diverticula sometimes develop but it arises pharyngeus and which is very very uncommon so pharyngeal esophageal pouse is very very uncommon but pharyngeal pouse is very common and what is the investigation investigation is the fluoroscopic study so what is the investigation we should do for a pharyngeal pouse patient we should go for upper GIT fluoroscopic swallowing study other option here such as the endoscope avoid all type of the endoscope then esophageal manometry manometry is used for the achalasia cardia and ct scan of the neck it is used for different purposes including the disease of the uh, vertebra of the neck also the different soft tissues such as the thyroid gland pathology parathyroid pathology or tracheal pathology in this condition ct scan is usually used but in case of pharyngeal pouse the ct scan usually not used